So I'm June Gosler Anderson, and I'm the author of The Other Side of Anoka. Um, this is a story of uh, the beginnings of Anoka, and the people who uh, came to Anoka in 18, the 1850s when it opened up, and the things that happened there for the rest of the century. Um, the other side has a double meaning. In uh, the Indian language, it means both sides of the river. And in paranormal language, which is a part of this book, uh, it means the other side of life. So the book is in three parts. Uh, the first part is an essay on the early fur trading industry uh, in Anoka. The second part is in 2016, where it actually starts with our heroine, Karen, who has lost her husband quite suddenly and becomes a ghost tour guide. And through that, she develops an interest in both the history of Anoka and the paranormal. And this leads her to a time regression to 1851, where she uh, appears as Carrie with her family. And we will meet uh, in this part of the book, the early people who uh, came to Anoka, there's Dr. Giddings, the first doctor, whose son Thaddeus was a music educator and founded Interlochen Music Camp. There's uh, the Aldridges, both Flora and Ellenson Aldridge, who built Colonial Hall, which is haunted, and my books are for sale there too. There's uh, Mary Woodbury, who lived in the Woodbury house, which is now the Mad Hatter. And she had some pretty interesting adventures on the river when she was a young girl. And so I have my fictitious characters who give the story feet and wings. So anyways, it's, it's a fun book to read. It gives you a, a lot of, of the stories of Anoka. Um, the fictional characters give it feet and wings, and I invite you to pick up a copy and read it. As I said, it's available exclusively at the Big White House in Anoka on 3rd Avenue. Uh, you can get it on Amazon.com and out of the trunk of my car.